So welcome to the Multicultural Center Transfer Orientation Presentation. My name is Rashonda Archie and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I am an assistant director here at the Multicultural Center and I am excited to talk with you about the center. Today, we will do an overview about our roots of advocacy a sneak peek of the MCC and how to find our wonderful student organizations and ways to connect with us. If we were in person, I would ask you to do an icebreaker called, Who Are You? And this icebreaker will allow for you to think and share your story. As we move throughout this presentation, I want you to think about the question, who are you and how would you answer it? So for example, I am an African-American woman, born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, loves to dance, and is a first-generation college student. Each of these characteristics is important to my story. Now, I want you to take about 30 seconds and reflect on who are you. In the Multicultural Center, we believe that storytelling is important. Therefore, in order for me to tell you where we are, it is important to discuss how we got here. So let's talk about our history. We must look back to spring 1996. During this time, the Black Student Union, NAACP, Association of Latin American Students, and NPAC were advocating here at ISU about their experiences and what was going on in their communities. As they were vocal about their experiences and cultural practices, they wanted a space where they can call their own. And student affairs created a multicultural house. And during the 2000 to 2005, the structure changed so in 2005, Diversity Advocacy walked alongside four student organizations in supporting them that we still have today. Those four organizations include PRIDE, the Association for Latin American Students, our Black Student Union, and the Asian Pacific American Coalition. And in 2017, Diversity Advocacy moved into a space in the bone and it was a very small space for students to program, meet, and to hang out. Students wanted a place where they could be their authentic selves, a place where they felt like that they could belong. And in 2018, there was a demonstration called Where You At ISU, where students discussed the need for a building that was specific to underrepresented and marginalized communities. And in 2019, there was a State of University Address. And in 2020, the construction began. So what I'm about to show you is a building where students advocated and used their voices. And as I share with you what the space looks like, I want you to hear and see student voices in everything that I am going to share with you. So let me introduce you to the Multicultural Center. We are located right next to the Students Accounts Building and Jimmy John's. So here is a brief overview about the Multicultural Center. We have a gathering space for students to hang out, study, or just build community together. There is a multi-purpose room, which I call my favorite room, which is a space for programming and events to take place. There is a cultural library in the center as well, and also our four organizations, Allies, APAC, BSU, and Pride have offices inside of here. We have a gender affirmation station for those who are transitioning or are just in need of clothes. We have three conference rooms with technology for meetings and also for those who need it for online classes as well. There is a prayer space and meditation room with a massage chair that is amazing, so I definitely recommend checking it out. 
And during the planning process, Allies stated that they wanted a place to just chill and have plants. So therefore, we have a green room that is just that. Students can come chill, de-stress, or even take a nap if they need. APAC has a podcast because they are so amazing and wanted a place to shoot and their videos and their podcasts. So therefore, we have a media space that is coming in spring 2022. And there is a kitchen that has everything minus the stove. Also, we have two sets of bathrooms. We have an all gender and we have a male and female restrooms that are here available for use. And lastly, all of the multicultural center staff offices are inside. So you all can come visit me if you want to. My office is in here. And as we discuss the multicultural center mission and vision, I want to point out two key points. In the mission statement, we want to amplify the voices of marginalized students and their experiences. And in our mission statement, we want to equip to value intersectional identities and commit to enacting a culture of anti-racism, equity, and justice. We focus on three areas in the center. We have an anti-racism lens and want our students to embrace their identity. Also, we want students to feel like that they can belong and be their authentic selves. Therefore, this chart is an overview of the different programming that we have done in the past and also what we are currently doing now. So this is a picture of our organizations, previous exact boards. We have four amazing organizations. Pride for our students who are in the LGBTQIA plus community, our Black Student Union, our Asian Pacific American Coalition, and the Association of Latin American Students. You can find each of their social media platforms by using ISU and APAC, BSU, Allies, and Pride. Please follow them and see what wonderful and amazing programs that they are doing. They always are doing great things. So here are some ways for you to connect with us. We look forward to seeing you at the Multicultural Center. Thank you all.